now we're gonna do something similar to some of these other words. So we're gonna go over here to bit and we're gonna grab a mask, throw that mask right on here. And for this one, we're gonna do a vertical slide. So I wanna kinda tighten it up here as close as we can without clipping it. And we'll tighten it up here, good. And so after a little bit, so right about here, we'll have that come on. We'll grab the position and we'll hold shift and then hit M to bring up the mask properties as well. Throw keyframes there. Actually, we want these keyframes to be down here. We'll just slide those over. That's fine. Then we will scooch that down just a little bit. We'll grab the mask. Actually, what we can do here is let's try easy easing those first. Then I will scooch this down right to our little line there. And we will grab the mask, push that up, and lock it right to the line. Convert those back to linear. Motion blur on. Cool. I'll come in here and adjust these keyframes just a little bit. See what that looks like. It doesn't quite have that same kind of perfect effect, but there we go. Cool. So we would just push these all the way. Now it starts right there. We got a little, tiny little motion underneath. That's fine. I really like the way that it comes right up there. Cool. Maybe we can go back here and tweak these up the same way as well. Grab this handle, push it all the way back. Grab this handle, push it all the way back. Now let's check out. Yes, yes. Can you see? Can you see what the rock is cooking or smell? There we go. Good. Excellent. So that's pretty cool there. Let's do the same kind of rotate thing with these last two, but we'll do them a little bit differently. Let's look at of and let's do this for of. Let's Grab the pan behind tool here, which is also Y, and that will help us move the anchor point without jacking up the layer. And if we hold shift, we can snap this here. So we can just slide it up right here. Cool. And so now we have the anchor point at the top of our little text box here. Switch back to the move tool or the selection tool and slide that layer over. We'll bring up the rotation properties again. And maybe we'll have this start from like negative 105. And we'll shift page down and go to zero. Throw a keyframe there. And then we'll do the same thing here. We'll jump into the graph editor. Slide that over. Maybe like, maybe like that. Let's try that. Actually, you got to turn on the motion blur to see what it really looks like. Hmm, not quite sure about that. Maybe it should look better if we put, there we go, that's better. We'll have it kind of rotate around the top of the O. Oh, let's get back here. Let me fix that just a little bit right there. Cool, let's see how that looks. Boop. Cool, and we'll do the same thing with the opacity keyframes. Actually, we can just take them right there and copy them and paste them right in. All right, let's see what that looks like. And you know what, I think, I feel like that rotation right there, click U, bring up these keyframes. I feel like that one rotation, I feel like this is coming out just a little bit fast. Let's try that. Yeah, there we go. Like I said, you know, it's all about look and you just kind of really got to feel it. Boom, boom, just like that. And then we'll do the same kind of slide thing here with this last text layer. But maybe we'll have this come from above. 
So we'll grab the, let's get in here and just make sure that this mask here, yeah, you know, it just clipped the bottom of the text there. Sometimes it can snap to the guides and uh, we don't want that to clip off the bottom of our E there. So just get in here, make sure everything's cool. Cool, 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 cool. And we'll take the text layer and we'll slide it here and go to the beginning and we'll hit shift page down. I'll bring up position, hold shift and then press M. Throw a keyframe here on both of those. Yeah, and we'll just easy ease them for now. We'll do this. We'll, uh, oh, and you know what might be helpful here? We'll throw a little uh, guide here in. That way we can see it because there's not going to be any kind of visual indication when we move this up here like this. And I'll hold control while I scrub here just to position this just right. Perfect. And then I will double click here and I will crush this down and zoom in on it just to make sure because I don't want it doing anything weird there. All right, cool. And put those back to easy ease. Boop, good. Now we'll jump in here to the graph editor. Same kind of stuff. Grab this one, pull it that way, crush that handle. Do the same thing here, pull it that way. And I'm actually pulling it as far as it'll let me pull it. Good, excellent. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Boop. Good. Oh, look at that. It just slides down so pretty. I really like it. And uh, you know, maybe I'm weird. So there it is. And then we can do we can do the last thing here with this period. You know, what we'll do we'll grab the rotation, just like this. Ten frames out. We'll throw another one down. Go back to this one. We'll say 105. Bloop. Bloop. Actually, we don't want that way over there. Uh, what we can do, well, we can grab the pan behind tool. Ay, ay, ay. There we go. And we'll put that right there. Cool. Then we'll grab those, those uh, opacity keyframes. Press U down here. So that we'll just have a somewhat consistent look. Like that. Boop. Excellent. Excellent. Sure, I'll pass it. Cool, and then we'll easy ease this. Click that right there. Maybe hit that like this. Excellent. All right. Let's see what our whole thing looks like. Are you ready? First thing, I'll go to view, show guides, get out of there. I don't need to see the title safe anymore. Make a little space here. Look at that. That is some slick business right there a little bit of text. Now, if you were if you were lining this up with say an audio track, browse here, grab my audio file, boom, it's in like Flynn. And what we'll do here is we will select the audio file, you can see right there. Then we'll hit LL on the old keyboard. We can bring this up here so we can see what's going on. Then we can hold control and scrub a little bit of text. Kind of a little bit of text. And you can see and that's obviously way faster. I recorded a couple of versions. A little bit of text. All right, so let's use this one right here. Like that. A little bit of text. A little bit of text. And cool. So we'll just use this. I'm going to punch in here. What I like to do is uh, line these up so that right when the right when the sound is happening, the letter is pretty much moved into position. You don't want to line it up with the start of the little animations. Otherwise, when the thing gets in there, it's going to be 10 frames behind. So, so we'll just scooch that forward. It's a lot of eyeball kind of stuff. So little, almost there, good. And scooch that over just a little bit. A little bit. Uh, actually, that looks perfect. Oops. Of text. Excellent. And what I'll do here is I'll scooch this over, do a little RAM preview for you. And you can see what that looks like. A little bit of text. 
cool. Maybe I'll scooch text in just a just a hair like that. A little bit of text. Cool. And you know, this is a lot of eyeball kind of work. A little trial and error, maybe scooch all these for just a hair. Try this. A little bit of text. Perfect. A little bit of text. Maybe text needs to come in just a hair. One frame more. A little bit of text. Perfect. A little bit of text. Yep, that's exactly what... A little bit of text. Okay, you can stop that now. <laughs> that's exactly what I was looking for. So for these kind of either typography type titles or maybe you're just adding titles to your video, these little rotation kind of things with the anchor points sliding into place, uh, those little kind of mask animations there, really cool, really, really simple and can be a really effective tool to add a lot of kind of variety to your little title animations and your text treatments. Really, really easy to do, a simple kind of look, and you can kind of stack it, you know, have it rotate in different ways and that kind of stuff to make it look really, really cool. Next, we're gonna check out a little bit more of a 3D rotation text technique. 